Yeah, for me, the best part of the Nihati is how soft it is. I mean, the tenderness is so yeah, crazy. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Wawapindi, Pakistan, in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Wawapindi is the sister city to Islamabad, the capital. It's only a 15 minute drive. We got here bright and early, 8.30 in the morning, to explore the commercial market. A huge bazaar, and we're gonna also have some delicious breakfast. Obviously, halwa puri with chana, that's like the staple, authentic breakfast, but we're also gonna have some nihari, which is basically like beef stew. Oh, I had this back when I was in Karachi. I loved it, and we're starting off right here at the refreshment center. As you can see, the guys outside are making puris nonstop. We're also gonna see the nihari over there. And we're gonna have some chai. Let's go explore. So here we have the Nihari. Oh man, I cannot wait for this. This is so good. So what is Nihari? Basically it's beef stew. They add some gravy, bone marrow, and brains. A little exotic. I love it. It was, oh, so good when I had it back in Karachi. And here they also have something called pie, but we're gonna try that in Lahore, cause it's like famous in Lahore, which is basically veal, right? Veal legs. Veal legs. <laughs> Incredible. So we have the nihari, we have some chana, over there, I don't know, it's more, more gravy, and then this is the pie. Okay? Yeah. Let's go eat. Let's go. And right here next to where they have the nihari, the chana, all the good stuff, they have the tandoor center where they make the naan. So he rolls up the dough, then he throws it right in the tandoor, leaves it there for like a minute, pulls it out, and it's ready. So we're also gonna have some lassi, right? Yeah, lassi has it. We have to, we have to. But I love this. Here. This is the best. And so there's a mix, right? They have just plain and they have... Yeah, this is called rogni naan. Rogni naan. Rogni naan. Rogni naan is a little bit thick. Yeah, it's thicker. It, it's almost, it's more like a pizza size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of COVID times, we're eating outside on a mini table here next to the cook. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Shukriya. Breakfast is served. We have five things. Puri, halva, chana, nihari, and the naan. I'm excited. I'm gonna go with this one first because I haven't eaten it in a while. Oh yes, look at this. So you get in here and it always has chilies. Ooh. Mm. Mm. So tender. Oh man. Oh, nice and oily. Good chilies. Oh yeah, so much oil here. Oh, and the fat too. Ooh, it's like jelly. Look at this. Mmm. It's almost like slimy. It's too good. Next up, yeah, a little bit the halva, right? So you just get the halva because it's sweet, and you mix it with the chana. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. I was a little confused. I thought this chanam, like these chickpeas, didn't look like chickpeas, but it's small chickpeas. Very tiny. So again, you have to get in here, grab this, but this time I'm gonna get some of this pickled cabbage. Oh, I love that. This time, no sweetness, just straight savory. Mmm. Mmm. Not too spicy. Mmm. Earthy. Oily. Even though we've been eating a lot of hot mafuri lately, it's always a little different. Like this one is so different. Oh man, I'm getting big bites now. Yeah, like that. So hungry right now. Mmm. -hmm. There's some of this. It's slimy nihari. Mmm. -hmm. Tastes absolutely unreal. Look at this. Oh man. Yeah, for me, the best part of the Nihari is how soft it is. I mean, the tenderness is so crazy. So, this Nihari, the biggest difference is that there's no brain, right? But they do have the brain there. Yeah. Just straight beef, just the flesh. And these chilies, look how hot this is. Mm. Oh man, ooh, hot. You know, with the chilies, the main thing is that the 
like the bigger they are, the less heat they have. The thinner they are, the heat, the hotter they are, right? Oh, look at that. I love it. I love like this gravy, slimy, oily, nihari. Look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Mm. All right. The heat. So, when it's hot, drink some lassi. Oh yeah, delicious. Mm. A little thick, very Punjabi style. Oh, I ate way too many chilies. Mmm, has a nice thick layer on top. Mm. Yogurt. Malai. This one's almost like a straight milk shake. I have all this food, the best is Nihari. We've been having too much of the, the Hala Puri, no? It's so big up here. Mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds very tasty, too. You're always gonna have that. Sweet and savory. We mix the halva, the crispy puri, and the chana. Mm. It is. It's so different. I've never seen a beef stew like this. It just drips. Mm -hmm. One last bite. Mm, so spicy. I personally like the naan more. The puri in this, in this case. It's so much crowd. A little more of this. Delicious. Jenna. If you're in Islamabad and you have no time to come to Rawapundi, like to explore in depth, at least pass through really fast, have breakfast. Really quick, 10, 15 minute drive, right? Mm, that kills the heat. I feel great. The one thing I forgot to have is some chai. Right here we have the chai. Tea. So what type of chai is this? This chai is called dood pati. It's straight milk. No water in it. So this is called dood pati. Dood pati. I had it in Peshawar. It is incredible. Very unique. Just milk. I mean, that's the biggest difference, right? <laughs> no water, just milk. Easy. Okay, I'm ready. Let's try this tea. Woo! Still peppy hot. Mmm, so good. Fantastic. Oh, nice little layer on top. Mmm, very hot. Like, like too hot, man. I don't even know how you guys drink like this. It's good. Definitely gotta try it. Dupati. 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 All right, so now we're gonna walk around this market. Then we will move to the GT Road. I was having my tea and my friend over here was like, you have to try this. This is called Tasty Puri. Mira Pura. Okay. So as you can see, it's more like a crispy, it's doughy, it's almost like a biscuit. Oh man. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes like, like a pulva and halva. So a big mix, yeah? Sure? Mmm, this is a great little biscuit. Mmm, yeah. The inside looks like straight halva. Oh, this is the best. This is way better. <laughs> so if you want to, instead of having the puri and the halwa, have this. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Thank you so much. Thanks guys, shukriya. Let's go. Alright, it's time to see the market. Still a little sleepy though, he was saying around 9.30, 10 it opens, and it's 9.15. Again, over here we have the puris. The market starts here. A lot of guys selling sunglasses all around the area. One, two, four, five, six vendors. Oh! Where'd it go? <laughs> Weird turn of events. I'm giving the guy a fist bump out of nowhere. And a jet just flies by like, yum! <laughs> so we got some fruit vendors, right? Lots the fruit vendors. Still waking up, right? What day is today, Friday? Good Friday. I forget the days now. You know, when you're traveling, the days just start to blend together. Oh, yeah. Bananas, pears, strawberries, just everything you guys produce, right? This is all local from the area. Yeah, mostly our local. Some of them from Afghanistan. Okay. Like grapes. 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 How about the kiwis? Kiwis, you guys produce it? Kiwi, kiwis, Afghanistan, China. Yeah, it's also from Afghanistan. Afghanistan, wow. Also, and these are also from Afghanistan. 
and rest of this from here. Yeah. Especially nowadays, the strawberry season. Strawberry season. Yeah. yeah, when we were in Mardan, we got a bunch of strawberries for like, I don't know, 50 rupees? Yeah, a huge bag. Yeah, one. Oh, so juicy. The pomegranate, got it. carrots, cauliflower. Oh, wow. That's all beef, huh? All yeah, beef. That's money? Yeah, this, this one is beef. Yeah, that's and beef. The rest, yeah, the rest are majority and lamb. This is what I love about visiting markets like this. You really get to see the real local experience, you know? The butcher, right here. His shop, you can see it. You can see the fresh carcasses, right? So over here we have goat, which is modern. Over here we have lamb. We have some of the organs hanging right here. Liver. Liver. Oh, so Stark. good. Fat. Beef. Oh, that's beef? Okay, yeah. Beef. Obviously, beef you can tell. Yeah, yeah, cow, and then over here we got some ribs. Yeah. Oh, the ribs are the best. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> His friend here is cutting up a chicken or something. Go, let's go foot. <laughs> go foot. Oh, I haven't seen it like that before. <laughs> That's really raw. It's mutton fat. Mutton fat. It looks so good. Hey, Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you. Mutton fat, beef, beef. kidneys, lamb. goat, uh, lamb. A meat eating country here. <laughs> The whole country love me. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Everything good? Chicken. Ah, uh, chicken. <laughs> so more butcher shops, guys. Fruit vendor, and then this guy has a bunch of chicken, right? And uh, uh, chicken. Oh man. Yeah, two chicken. Rice. Yeah. It's called local chicken in this farm. Yeah, that's the farm. The white one's always the farm, right? Yeah. You could always, you could always tell. Yeah. This is the, this is the tastier one for me. Yeah, the local one. The very nice. It's different. Creole. It's yeah, different. Farm raised, locally raised, Farm so different. As you can see, the market's pretty dead. Like a ghost town right now. All the shops are opening in around 20 minutes. The only thing open right now are the butcher shops, some of the fruit vendors, and some street food stalls. But you know what I found? The Bonanza Satranji. It's the brand that makes the Shemakamis, right? Shemakamis. I need to get a white one. If you're looking to buy Shelva Kamis, definitely come to this brand, Bonanza. I love it. They are the best. I went in Karachi, got myself the green. They told me there's a lot of different branches all around the country. And here we found one. And finally, I'm getting my white one. Obviously, here in Rawat Bindi, this shop is a lot smaller, right? The one I went to in Karachi, huge shop. Two levels, just ginormous. This one has less selection, but still a lot of stuff. They have, you know, stuff for weddings. They also have very beautiful, yeah, this is for weddings, right? Yeah. For sure. This is gorgeous. I love these. All these vests, very nice. So the price total for it is 5,680, which is like something like 40 US dollars, which I think is a great deal. I'm gonna wear it for the next five days. All right, let's go. So perfumes, for men? For men, ladies. Can I try one? What's a good one? You gotta give me something, man. It's Rabi. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Outdoor last time, the price of 14 of the yeah? Yeah. Alright, spray me, spray me. Now I smell like bonanza. Okay. <laughs> like most shops, the bottom is for women, top is for men, but they also have some bedding and they have perfume and cologne. Oh man, I smell great. So good. This fragrance? Oh. Thank you. Shukriya. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Walking through another lane that is completely empty. This is a ghost town right now. I think it's because of Friday, right? Friday morning? Friday. That's probably why it's like this. Yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate. I really wanted to see what else we could find here. Maybe, uh, you know, some souvenirs for my kids or something. But it's closed, so I mean, that's it. Breakfast here in Wawapundi in the commercial market, right? We went to the refreshing center. It's a refreshment center. Yeah, refreshment center. Refreshment center. That's where you can have some halva puri, some nihari, some naan, some lassi, some chai. I mean, we tried so many different things, and everybody's so friendly there. You can see them making everything right outside, from the puris to the chai, the nihari, everything right there. So good. My favorite thing was the nihari. I loved it. So spicy, so spicy, so tender beef. I mean, I just love that gravy, oily, jelly feeling. The only thing I was missing was that brains. I should have thrown the brains on top, but it's fine, it's fine, no problem. It's okay. <laughs> and then after that, we walked through the market a little bit. We saw a fruit vendor, a few butcher shops. We obviously went to Bonanza, got myself the white, the white is white. Shelva Kamis, Shelva Kamis. You have to buy this the second you land in Pakistan, 
buy yourself either white or green obviously the flag represent the country people will embrace you with open arms just because you embrace their culture right yeah that's my well my friends i hope you enjoyed this tour of wawa bindi if you love the video thumbs up comment below subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in pakistan zinzabad